inspired by the Cake Spy website's cookie cake pie, I am going to try and uh, do one better and make a brownie cake cookie pie. I've got my ingredients assembled here and I'll um, put it together bit by bit. I've got the oven preheating to 350 degrees. The first thing I'm going to put in on top of the graham cracker crust is the brownies. I think that's going to be a good contrast to go on the bottom. So I'm going to mix that up. Alright, I'm using from the back of the box here fudgy brownies instead of cake-like brownies. Might as well do fudgy brownies because we're already going to have cake included in this dessert. All right, the brownie mix is all done. Now I'm not going to use nearly all this brownie mix. I just need to cover the bottom of this. I'm going to aim for, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch layer. Like the bottom third of this pie plate. Here is the brownie mix. You see I still have a whole lot of brownie mix left. Now I've decided, I've already changed my mind, I'm going to put the cake as the middle layer because I thought if I put it on the top then it would um, you know, just cry out for icing and I don't feel like making icing. So I'm going to put the cake in the middle and then top it with peanut butter cookie. Alright, here's an action shot of me mixing up the uh, cake mix. It's about done. Okay, this one, since it's got to go on top of a soft layer that's already there, I'm going to have to put it on a little more evenly because I've got to be really delicate when I spread it out. So, um, using a big spatula here, just kind of try and pour it evenly over this. Again, I will um, finish this up and come back with the video when it's done. Now the pie crust contains a layer of brownie mix and a layer of cake mix on top. And you'll see I did both uh, roughly a quarter inch or so, or one third of the depth of the pie crust here. So there's still one third left. And I'm going to now make the peanut butter cookies and put that on top. So here is the cookie dough mix that I've uh, beaten together. It's considerably stiffer than the other two mixes. And I've got to get it on top of this uh, soft liquidy layer. So you just take little bits, make sure you have clean hands, and pinch it flat. And then just put, place the little bits onto the top of the pie, just like that. And I'm going to go around and then fill it in the middle. Et voila! The um, cookie dough is now entirely covering the top of the pie. There's still some batter left, though not as much as the brownie mix and cake mix. I did discover the way to make it not stick. You'll see in the center here, I was able to get the bigger pieces mushed out again. I filled a little cup with water, cold water. Uh, keeps it from sticking so much. Um, so that'll help you out when you do this at home. Now because it looks kind of plain, it's the same color as the graham cracker crust. I hadn't anticipated that. I'm going to drizzle brownie mix on top in a decorative pattern. There you see I've selected a, a crisscross pattern uh, to decorate the top of the brownie cake cookie pie. Now I'm going to stick this in the oven. It should be preheated to 350 now. I'll check it after 10 minutes and see see how it goes. My fear is that the cookie might cook quicker than the cake and brownie beneath. Um, but we'll just stick in the oven and see what happens. Okay, here is the original brownie cake cookie pie. Uh, after 15 minutes, it totally wasn't done after 10, but what I feared might happen is happening. It looks like the cookie part is about done. Let me actually taste it here. Yeah, the top cookie part, I don't really want to cook anymore. But unfortunately, I don't know if you can see this when I shake it, but it's downright liquid underneath. Like, see, put this away. Cake batter is, hmm, liquid. So, how am I going to finish cooking the middle layers without burning the cookie? Here's what I've come up with. 
So I'm going to put foil over the whole top of the cake and um, see if that will keep the cookie on top from burning while allowing the middle to set up. I had to try a little bite to see how undone the middle was and it's extremely undone, but it is reminiscent of those molten cakes that are all gooey and liquidy in the middle. So I may have to change the nature of this dessert if my uh, tin foil cover doesn't work. I'll put it back in the oven for eh, three to five minutes. Um, and if it's not burning the cookie, I'll continue cooking it for as long as I can. The good news is the foil is keeping it from burning the cookie. The bad news is the bottom part still isn't setting up. So what I've done is um, it's already been through the five minutes, and then again um, for another five minutes. Maybe even um, for 15 minutes. Uh, I forget. I'm taking the fork and I am making little holes so that the cake mix can come up through the cookie and that seems to be helping it set up where it can get up so I'm just going to take the minute do that put the foil on it and cook it again and see if this doesn't help firm up the middle there you can see that the cake mix is coming up through the top now and uh, it also makes it look a little more interesting so it's going to go back in the oven and I put this in for another 10 minutes after I broke up the cookie crust to let the cake part cook a little and it's still pretty liquidy in the middle um, but it's like partly cooked a little while longer on this one my original brownie cake cookie pie still has not set up in the middle so I'm giving up on trying to get it to set so I'm gonna let it sit for a while we out of the oven and then I'll cut it up, serve it, and see what kind of dessert it makes. Um, the textures of the brownie cake and cookie are not going to be like the originals, but perhaps that will be part of the charm of inventing a whole new dessert. I'll try cutting it with with a knife, I guess. I'll just use this. See what happens. My fear that this would not turn out well was completely misguided. This is absolutely delicious and I would totally serve it as a dinner party dessert. It is over the top. It's like this molten bit. Ah, oh, this is the, the brownie here and the, the beauty is that the crust, the graham cracker crust, really does help it like hold together on your fork. Mm. And here, this part, the cake is actually cakey. It is not molten on the outside, but it's soft. It's like, mm, you know how like pineapple upside down cake, the, the part that's all saturated with the pineapple juice is like super moist cake. That is what this is like, but without pineapple. It's super saturated with peanut butter cookie. Oh my goodness. Mm. And then the abundant chocolate from the brownie. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. This has been a complete success. A completely successful dessert. 